good morning all of you so in the last video we had studied about different sources of food items that we get it either from plants or from animals now today i'm going to teach you about the different food habits of animals on the basis of the food habits of animals they can be classified into five different types that is the herbivores then we have the carnivores we have omnivores we have parasites and we have scavengers so there are five different types of animals according to their eating habits you people have learned this in grade 5 but still we will have a recap of that first talking about the herbivores who are the herbivores so herbivores are the animals that eat plant or plant products say for example cow, goat, buffalo, goat, sheep, these all are the examples of herbivores. Now what are the features or we can say the characteristics which these animals possess? So they have wide and blunt, they have molars and premolars so that they can chew the plant and plant products well. And even few animals like cows, buffaloes, and camel they can first swallow the food and then can bring it back and can chew again the same food this type of habit they have like you might be seeing them that there is no food around but still they are going on chewing yes they can absorb all the nutrients from the plants so they have this capacity to bring in the swallowed food back to the mouth and chew it again. Next we have the herbivores like butterflies. They have straw like um, tube in the mouth part. Yes and through which they suck the nectar from the flowers. Now secondly talking about the carnivores. Carnivores are the animals that eat the flesh of other animals like lion, tiger, leopard, cheetah. What do they do? They hunt other animals and they eat their flesh. They are the carnivores. Now as they have to tear the flesh of other animals, they have sharp canines. Yes, canines are the tearing teeth. So they have sharp canines through which they hunt and tear the animal and eat their flesh. Now third category comes of omnivores. Now, omnivores are the animals who eat both plants as well as the flesh of other animals. Say, for example, crow, bear, we, the human beings, are omnivores. They come under the category of omnivores. They can eat both plants as well as they can eat the flesh of other animals. Now, they have different types of things. They can chew both plant and plant products as well as they can eat the meat so they are the omnivores now next talking about the scavengers scavengers are the animals who feed on the meat or flesh of dead animals they eat the dead animals wherever they find the dead animals are lying around anywhere they come there and they eat their flesh so they are also called the cleaners of the environment they clean the environment wherever they find any dead animals lying around they come and eat their flesh so examples of scavengers are vulture hawk hyena they eat the flesh of dead animals next is the parasites parasites live on the body of their host and they suck their blood they eat they feed on the blood of that host and there are also few parasites which live inside our body yes like the round worms and hook worms they live inside our body and they absorb the food that we are eating they consume the food that we are eating so these are the five types of food habits animals can be uh, bifurcated on the basis of the food habits that is herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, scavengers and parasites Thank you. Good morning. 
today I am going to teach you the first chapter of science that is sources of food. Food is required by each and every one of us. The various functions which are provided, which are provided to us by the food that we take. It gives us energy to do all sort of work. Secondly, it is required for our body, for the maintenance and repair of our tissues. It is required by our body to keep our body disease free and keep our body fit and healthy. Food is also required for the growth of our body and to repair the worn out tissues. So food is very important in our life. When there were various raw materials are required to prepare the food items. Say for example, if we want to prepare a mango juice, so what things we require is, we require a mango, we require milk, we require sugar. So what these three things we will call, we will call them as the ingredients. Is it clear? We call them ingredients for preparing the mango juice. So ingredients are the raw materials which are required to prepare a particular food item.